appreciate the opportunity to come on your program, and your invitation has given me uh, and the people an opportunity to understand better the circumstances relating to my encounters and what has happened during my life. In 2001, I was invited by Jaime Massan to come to Mexico and tell my story to the people of Mexico and consequently to the world. Between the people of Mexico, Jaime Massan, and Art Bell, I was able to tell my story to millions and millions of people who have been supportive over the years and have given me the strength to continue. Back then, I had hoped to be able to demonstrate the link bracelet or artifact in Mexico, but consequently due to security issues, it was impossible at the time. And now that we live in a time of war and terrorism around the world, it's impossible to transport uh, the link device anywhere across anyone's borders. So, as you have invited me here, I will take this opportunity to dedicate the possibility of using the artifact in public on live television in your live program today. And hopefully we can see if it will in fact function, because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a matter of them not allowing it to happen. It's a two-phase operation. It's not just up to me. It's up to them. They are the owners. They are the ones that decide if in fact it is going to function. I'd just like to say thank you to all of the people of Mexico and to all of the people all around the world who have done so much to help me personally and all of the other people who have had contact around the world. There are millions and millions of people who have supported me and thousands and thousands of other people who have had contact like myself that continues to this very day. or bracelet, as many people refer to it, is something that I found in the forest next to the body when I found the extraterrestrial 13 years ago. It's a small silver device that is worn on the wrist and is a factor of communication and teleportation between the wearer and his superiors. I have learned that I have been given a responsibility and an opportunity to care for this device. It is something that is very sacred and it is one of several that has been held in safekeeping around the world for over 60 years. I have talked with many of the other people who have found these devices and now we know and are learning what the responsibility and what some of the functions are of these devices. Truly, truly a technology that is so far advanced from anything that humans have yet to even scratch the surface of. This is what so many people have tried to say doesn't exist or simply 
is a figment of someone's imagination. It has symbols across the front of it. This is what I found in the forest in 1996 when I first encountered the creature or the alien. I believe that it's some kind of bioelectric uh, interface between the wearer of this device and the owners of it, that they actually activate it. It has three needles on the inside that actually penetrate your arm, the wearer of this, that I think creates a uh, interface, biological interface, with the device and or the beings who use it. So my impression of it is that it's designed to keep control and communication between the extraterrestrial and their superiors. I believe it fits on your arm, the wearer's arm, like this. If you push down, <clears throat> the needles penetrate your skin, tissue, and into the nerves of your arm. There is some pain to it, but it quickly, quickly goes away. It becomes kind of a cold, almost a frozen type feeling. Very quickly, that pain subsides. But if it functions, which sometimes it doesn't, it starts a throbbing inside your chest, literally a pulsation inside your chest that starts from the center and emanates to your extremities and becomes harder and harder. And then when that happens, then it starts to be activated by, ah, ah, there, now I can feel it, I can feel it in my chest. Ah, it's painful, but if I hold my chest, it has a tendency to be less painful. And then they make the decision ah, ah, whether... Thank <laughs> you. 